Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On and this is another episode of 7 O'Clock Spurs on a Tuesday. First bit of news today, it's come out that Spurs are seventh in the list of the clubs who have spent the most money on agents fees. Last season we spent just under six million, which you may think that sounds quite a lot of money to spend on nasty little agents, but actually compared to the season before where we spent 11 million, it's a great improvement. Well done, Daniel Levy. Top of that list were Liverpool who spent a whopping 14.3 million pounds on agents last year. Now to me, that just shows how Daniel Levy is really cutting the costs of everything to do with Tottenham. He got rid of all the deadwood, he got rid of all those high wage earners and he's cut the agent fees and we're just trying to keep that money for the big stadium, 61,000 seater that's coming in a few years time. Building has started, we've all seen it over at White Hart Lane, very exciting times indeed. Second bit of news today, Spurs apparently battling Woolwich to sign PSG's centre midfielder Adrian Rabiot. Yes, he's a, he's a Frenchman, he's a lovely curly haired kind of small centre midfielder. Sounds more like he might suit Arsenal with him being small and kind of good on the ball like that, whereas we have more like Deli Ali, Eric Dyer, just like to hit people, smash people. But he is a regular for PSG this season. There were lots of rumours in the summer that we might be going for him back then. I don't know about this one. It seems to me like we're quite well stocked in midfield. Of course, we've got Ben Sleb to come back in. Ali and Dyer are pretty much mainstays, and we've got lots of players around. So it sounds like it could be paper talk, that one. But let me know what you think in the comments section below. Finally today, Hugo Lloris has done a little interview talking about how he thinks it was only a lack of freshness that stopped us from beating Chelsea at the weekend. He said, and I quote, we showed more qualities. We tried to play, but unfortunately we couldn't score. And the feeling in the changing room is that of disappointment. Well, once again, how good is that? We're disappointed not to have beat Chelsea at home. They're the champions. They're on a decent run in the last three games. All Mourinho wanted was to turn us over. And we stayed strong. We just got back from Baku in Azerbaijan. They were all knackered, but we managed to keep it. Get a draw, nil-nil. I think we should be happy with that. Were you happy with that? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. Nil-nil, I think, is a great result. Keeps that positivity and momentum. 13 games unbeaten now for Spurs. A club record in the 